Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Today we will go for Chemistry Paper Six, Variant One, for May June 2025. Let's go. Question one: Do you want to prepare some crystal of pure potassium sulfate? This is a preparation of salt by using this and this. So the student placed 25 cm cube of potassium carbonate at indicator. Use burette to add dilute sulfuric acid to conical flask until the end point is reached and the indicator change color, which means that the reaction successfully complete. Here shows the burette reading. They say the final reading is this, initial reading is this. So what is the volume of dilute sulfuric acid added? You just minus them, you get 14.6. Part B, state which solution Potassium carbonate or dilute sulfuric acid is least concentrated. So we refer back to the equation that tells us the number of mole is 1 to 1. So according to this, then we found that this one we use 25 cm cube, while this thing we use 14.6 cm cube. This is a larger volume, so that's why it is less concentrated. So the least concentrated solution would be potassium carbonate. And then the reason is because it uses a larger volume. Next, name a piece of apparatus suitable to measuring 25 cm cube of potassium carbonate. So we can use burette or pipette. D, name a suitable indicator and give the color change of this indicator at the end point. So we are titrating with acid, means that we are neutralizing. So the titration until the end, and this we cannot use time of toline here because we do not have a strong alkali. That's why it's better to use metal orange. And a titration of potassium carbonate will change it from yellow to neutral, which is orange. If we continue to add extra acid, then it will cause it to become red. E. As a student added the dilute sulfuric acid to aqueous potassium carbonate, then look for the color change. See what the student should do as they add the acid in the potassium carbonate in conical flux. Do not include the observation in your answer. So to make sure the color change is accurate, you need to swallow the contain of the flux. F. Describe what the student should now do to obtain crystal of pure potassium sulfate. To make this, is actually involved the preparation of soft technique. So here is aqueous to aqueous to aqueous. So we cannot do any filtration. We need to make sure how many volume of this and how many volume of this. And from the front, we already know we have 25 cm cube of potassium carbonate and we have 14.6 cm cube sulfuric acid. So that's why we add this volume of solution without indicator. And then all will change to these. And then we just put it into the evaporating dish and we just heat it until it forms crystal and cool it. Then we can get the pure potassium sulfate. The addition of indicator will cause it's not pure potassium sulfate. Then place a solution in evaporating dish. Question two, the experiment, we investigate how the rate of reaction of magnesium ribbon with dilute acid change the concentration of acid. The student used five different concentration acid. And then acid is in excess in all experiments. The student does five experiments. So they use a measuring cylinder to measure and pour 30 cm cube of acid into the conical flask and then add magnesium ribbon and then start the stopwatch and then swirl the mixture until magnesium ribbon disappear. Immediately stop the stopwatch. Then empty and rinse the conical flask with distilled water. Then we repeat with S, B, C, D, E. They have different concentration. Then the information are given. We just read the information. When concentration is 2.0, time for it to disappear is this. So here is 20. And then here is 25. Here is 42, because here is 40, two more from here. Here is 55, so this is 56. And then here already turn one more cycle. Then this is the second cycle, 35, past the one minute, so it's 
95. One minute means 60 seconds. So 60 plus 35, 95. So we list down the concentration and time taken. For the next question, we can use this. Next, write a suitable skill on the y-axis and plot the results from experiment 1 to 5 on figure 2.1. Draw a line of best fit. Concentration already given in the skill and then the time is until 95. So we see 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Concentration 2.0, time is 20. 1.5 is 25. Then we draw a line of best fit. Make sure you train how to draw it in a best fit. Then from your graph, deduce the time for the magnesium to disappear when the concentration of acid is 1.3. So from here, we check 1.3 mole per dm cube is here. You need to clearly label this line on your graph to gain the marks. As long as your answer is based on your graph, then they will accept this answer. So for my graph is 29. Next, the mean rate of reaction is calculated using the equation shown. The length of magnesium ribbon use is given here as 5 cm. And then the time for magnesium to disappear in experiment 1 is 20. So we just divide, we get 0 0.25. And then the unit is cm divided by second, so cm per second. Deduce in which experiment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the mean rate of reaction is the slowest. So the slower straight need the maximum of time. So we can confirm it is experiment 5. E. Explain why repeating each experiment is an improvement so that we can compare result. F. The student does another experiment to find a temperature change when magnesium reacts with acid A. Use the measuring cylinder to pour 30 cm of acid A into conical flask. Measure the initial temperature. Add magnesium ribbon. Swirl until magnesium ribbon disappears completely. And measure the final temperature of the acid in the conical flask. 1. Use the thermometer diagram to complete the table. 2.2. Next, explain why controlling the temperature of the acid so that it remains constant is an improvement. Because the change of temperature will affect the rate of reaction. Explain why using polystyrene cup instead of conical flask does not control the temperature of acid. Because polystyrene when heat escaping. Next, describe how the temperature of the acid can be controlled and kept constant. To control the temperature to remain constant, we always use water bath. Question 3. A student has two solids, solids F and G. They tell you F is calcium carbonate. The student adds about 15 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid to the sample of solid F in a boiling tube and test any gas produced. We know carbonate when it adds with any acid to release carbon dioxide. You refer back to the table, you know the observation will be, you will see the freezing and it will turn lime water milky. The student filter the product from A to obtain solution H as the filtrate. So calcium chloride will form. The student divides solution H into three approximately equal portion in three test tubes. Part one. To the first portion of H, the student add dilute nitric acid and aqueous barium nitrate. So we refer back to barium nitrate and dilute nitric acid. They are testing for sulfate ion. Sulfate ion is not present here, so that's why you can tell me no change. Part two, the second portion of solution H, the student adds sodium hydroxide, dropwise, and then in excess. Since this is testing for calcium, then we just say observation when added dropwise, white precipitate. Don't copy PPT, make sure you write in precipitate. And the observation in excess, you tell me it is insoluble. All information given in the table. Part 3. To the third portion of solution H, the student add about 1 cm depth of dilute nitric acid followed by silver nitrate. So here is testing for chloride, so white precipitate form.
Test on Solid G. Solid G, they don't tell you what is it. Then they say, they directly tell you, they do a flame test. Flame test will form lilac flame. So we can confirm it is potassium ion. Then they dissolve the remaining G in water and test with these three things. They test with aqueous chloride. Orange solution form, so we can confirm bromine form. So initially, it have bromide ion, and then they add NaOH. It remain colorless. So we can confirm it is potassium ion again. Test four, the third portion of solution G add about one cm of nitric acid with silver nitrate. Then it says cream precipitate form. So cream precipitate is confirmed bromide. So and confirm the solid G is KBR. Question four, planning an experiment. So here they have sodium hydrogen carbonate. They react with dilute hydrochloric acid and dilute ethanol acid. Both will form salt, carbon dioxide, and water. And then the two reactions are endothermic, which means after the reaction, the temperature will drop. Plan an investigation to find which of the two reactions is the most endothermic. Your plan must include how you can use the result to find which reaction is the most endothermic. We can see which of the solution give you the lower temperature after reaction, then that one would be the most endothermic situation. You are provided with solid sodium hydrogen carbonate, dilute hydrochloric acid, dilute ethanol acid, and common lab apparatus. So we see the thing that we change here is we're using different acid. So that's why the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate must be fixed. And also the volume and concentration of acid must be constant. So these are the things that we need to fix. So make sure you write clearly in the experiment. So we measure the mass of sodium hydrogen carbonate. Then we measure the volume of acid. After measure, we transfer it to polystyrene cup. Why we do not use beaker is because here involve changes in temperature. So we need to prevent heat transfer in or out to the container. So polystyrene is an insulator, is a better option. And then we need to measure the initial temperature of the solution. Then we can add the sodium hydrogen carbonate into the acid. And make sure we stir it. So after the reaction, we record the lowest temperature and we can know the changes in temperature. And we repeat the experiment with dilute ethanol acid. Last acid that has the biggest temperature decrease will be the most endothermic. That's all. So this is the end of today's session. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my video. If you have any question, please feel free to comment here. See you in the next class. Bye-bye.